how's it going? It's Elena and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because today I'm bringing you guys another one of those little Q and A's with friends in the city talking about their jobs, life in New York, dating, the whole deal. I graduated three years ago now, which is crazy. And I know a lot of you guys are in college, you're a few years out of college, maybe you're 10 years out of college, and figured it'd be interesting to bring some friends on this channel with different jobs and different industries and just kind of talk about what their work is like, what their life is like, etc. So I'm super excited because my two friends, Haley and Emily, are coming on over later today. They're incredible. They are models here in New York. They're obviously stunning and they're also just incredibly kind and cool and smart people that are super fun to be around. So I figured it'd be fun to bring them on the channel and answer some of your guys' questions about the modeling industry and what life is like for them. I feel like the world of modeling is very like nuanced and mysterious and like seemingly glamorous, but would love to get into the nitty gritty of what it's like, especially as a model in New York, because it's one of the hardest cities to make it as a model. So there's people that are kind of like at the top of their game. So I'm gonna talk to them about, you know, what life is like as a model, how they got into it, all that stuff, so stay tuned. And before we dive in, we have a little sponsor for today, which I'm excited about. Port is sponsoring today's video. Port, as you can see, is a really cool mobile finance app that I have an account with. They're committed to helping you basically find your own path to financial freedom. I love talking about personal finances on my channel because it's so important and crucial to navigating your 20s as well as your late teens, your 30s, and so on. And so I'm super excited about Port. They have this really cool feature. It's called Door to Change, where it basically allows allows you to do good while spending money, which I love. It allows you to basically select a charity of your choice. And then when you spend money using your port card, port makes a donation to that charity at no cost to you. So you basically can support the charity of your choice just by doing your everyday shopping. What's great is that it's all digital. So you basically manage your finances from like your technology of choice. They're super user friendly. So if you're intimidated by finances and dealing with your own finances, having a nice interface makes it that much easier. It's basically like your financial door to more. So I really love what Port's all about. If you wanna check them out, they will be linked down below to learn more for yourself. So on that note, let's go meet Haley and Emily. Intro. Oh Hello, my name is Emily Caston. <laughs> I was born in Surprise, Arizona, and I'm 22. I'm about to turn 23 in August, <gasps> and I live in New York City. And oh, yes. yeah, and she's a Leo, <laughs> and I'm a Leo. Yeah, like, I just uh, like a dating profile. Yeah, I just yeah. Killed my mom. <laughs> oh no, as I was laughing. <laughs> Hello, I'm Haley. Uh, I was born in California, and now I live in the West Village of New York City. Mm -hmm. I'm 21 years old. 21 and a half, if we're counting. Oh, yeah. uh, what else? And I'm signed with Next Roll Bud. Cute! Ooh. My friends give me last November. Yeah, that's I've right. known you, you for, a while. for a minute. Yeah, like 2018 probably. Like, now. When I first was living with Katie. With Katie. Like, like you Katie was about two years ago. But now we started to know. Yeah, it's all cool. beginnings. And then how'd you guys meet? So funny. So I got scouted. Right. When I was in Hawaii okay. by some random guy, and then I was like, "How are you, model?" Yeah. Next day, I just got to get by my now agent, Hudson. Oh. And Hudson's like trying to convince me. He's like, "I'm gonna give you this girl's number. You can ask her all yeah. these questions." I call Emily. Who I was in New York City at the yeah. time. Yeah. I think you were in Japan. Oh, I was in Japan at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so like, weird cool. time zone. So yeah, she yeah. like calls me. She essentially convinces me to drop out of college oh my God, and awesome. start modeling. Yes. And Haley came to New York City for the first time at the time. This was just like right before COVID. I was taking Im an improv class yeah. <laughs> and I had a show and so I knew she was here and I was like, hey, do you want to come to my improv show? Like for the okay, first time. For the like, first time ever. Wait, ballsy on your part. Yeah. Next question, I want to know, we kind of briefly touched on this, how you guys got scouted. I guess I first got scouted when I was 12. Mm -hmm. And then a few times throughout my childhood I get scouted. I did technically sign with someone when I was like 13, but we didn't okay. ever do anything yeah. because my mom was a single parent, so she could never drive me. So then when I did get scouted for real when I was like 18, I was like, yeah, been there, done that. I'm not a model. But um, I ended up signing with Hudson with Renew Artist Hawaii, which is both of our mother agencies. Yeah. Oh. Um, because I was honestly like, like, if I'm broke and this man told me I could travel, so I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get off the floor. I'm living on yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Like, there was like a ton of us 
stuffed into this one apartment. I was literally sleeping on the floor. So I was like, I have six dollars in my bank account. So crazy, right? Um, it's so crazy. I might as well. I want to yeah. travel. Yeah. So I just dropped out and sent it. I remember like living in Arizona. I always wanted to model, mm -hmm. and like I tried when I was like twelve, but like it was a scam. It was just not it. There's scams it, out there. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got rejected from an Arizona agency. Yeah, which, it, like, I was like, okay, we know. yeah, literally. So then I was living in Hawaii at the time, and I was grinding. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Zipline tour guide. I was working <laughs> yes. at McDonald's. Yes. And I met a really good friend on the beach mm -hmm. who was like, dude, you need to fucking quit if you're not happy. So he's a pretty known model and he introduced me to Hudson who started his career. And Hudson was like, yeah. I've been wanting to sign you, you're a supermodel. And he was kind of the first person yeah. to like believe in me. I yeah. love Hudson. That's dude. our agent. So when I first signed, I actually traveled abroad for like Oh, right. Well, yeah, we're just going yeah, to you fucking everywhere. So the first place I went was Australia okay. as well. Mm -hmm. And then Australia's a great first it's place. It's a to good model. place. That's to so start. interesting. I didn't know there's like really a market good. for models to oh, start off in. It's very chill. Yeah. The work life sense. balance is great. It's yeah. really nice for like learning. Everyone's so True. sweet there. I was back and forth from LA and mm -hmm. then Japan and then Dubai. Wait, Not when did you start modeling? I was 19. So that was three years ago. I started like October 2019. So like late. Follow up question What's the most fun campaign you've done? Or show? Oh my god. I know your answer. Oh, oh my I can I know your answer. Yeah. Wait, let's guess. Okay. Gucci. Mm, yeah. Gucci. Gucci. This, Gucci. this girl just did Gucci. She did Gucci. Ooh. I'd love to hear about like the hair shaping experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. an interesting story. Like, well, that's what made that. my career. She used to have long hair. I used to have yeah, <laughs> long hair down like right here, yeah. and then. I was living in LA at the time and my agents were like, you need a new, you need a new do. Like the long hair, you've had it for so long. This is like two years into my career. So I get this haircut. It is so fugly. It wasn't the short one? It was so fugly. When it was dude. brown? That's yeah. Cute. I just didn't know how to style it. I cried. I cried so, so much. much. So this girl, I'm moving with her in LA. Yeah. She leaves her 40s to come here for a birthday party. Do you remember that? I was coming for my long oh, birthday. The day I was supposed to pick her ass up no. from LA and she calls me, I think I'm gonna shave my head. I'm like, I'm like, what? Can you wait seven hours? I know. Do that. Can you get yeah, I know. LA first? Hudson calls me and I knew this was gonna happen. Listen, I think you should shave your head. And I was like, so I took two days. I had a lot of mental breakdowns because I was like, this is crazy. Yeah. But I remember what talking with someone like a few days before. Wait, and you're like, do I do it tomorrow? I was like, I don't yeah, know. I'm, I'm gonna input some of those like yeah. badass images of you yeah. shaving it yourself, like Dude, on a rooftop. Yeah. And I was like, the first yes. and Leilani, our friend Leilani and Allison started a production company, so they were shooting it. Mm -hmm. It gave me so much more confidence. I think it was something like I had to just make that decision on my own. It made my career. What about you? What's like one of your most fun shoots, campaigns, um, shows? Actually, so it just came out like two days ago. Mm -hmm. I went to Costa Rica in like late mm -hmm. March <laughs> for a Love Shack Fancy and Hurley collab. So, so it was mainly so Love Shack Fancy, but there's also like a lot yeah, of Hurley yeah. there. Like print with the, the Love Shack Fancy print on like the Hurley bikini yeah, and yeah. surfsuits. So, so I had to here. surf and I was like, I'm getting paid to surf. I was just surfing and like yeah. in the sun yeah. and like all these beautiful dresses and people and energy. Okay, so I don't have like a perfectly framed question for this, okay. but I feel like the modeling industry is so nuanced. And I've learned a lot from like my roommate of just like, you know, I feel like you see it from the outside and you're like, oh, you like do that thing and then do the next thing in your model. Or like, oh, yeah. you cook that show. I'm like, wow, your career's set. But I feel like it's like so give and take depending on like the look, the oh, season where you live. Yeah. Like what are a few either like misconceptions about the modeling industry or what's something that like someone would never guess about the modeling <laughs> industry? Wait, you don't make money when you start. Girl, yeah. You're broke. You actually you dig your broke. own dead grave, like very deep. <laughs> So when you first, a girl moves to New York, you don't have a place to stay, you don't know anyone, you stay in a model apartment. A model apartment. Which they charge it to an account. And, and it's exactly what it sounds like. like you're like sharing rooms, right? You like with six girls. Girls. So you live, you learn to live with so many You learn to live with, yeah. I was the mom of my apartment, so everyone liked me luckily, but I was definitely like a mediator. With any creative job, you don't know when your next job is. Yeah. And with modeling too, you get paid every three months. Oh really? Yeah. So, I mean, if that, like, yeah. it's very sporadic. You don't get like a payday. Like, okay, like yeah. it's always yeah. a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't have a set payday, so it's very vital that you yeah. know how to be fiscally responsible in modeling. Yeah. Because like, I'm at the point where like I like modeling. I love modeling too. I love it too, but mm -hmm. I didn't like it until I stopped taking it so seriously. So 
So like, yes, you have you have yeah. to like. It's a very fine line because you need to take it seriously enough, obviously, to like yeah. you know be working and everything. But you can't like it let can't be your whole comments life. get to yeah. you. Yeah, there's always gonna be that one person that's like, she's too short, she's too brown, she's too yeah. this, mm -hmm. that, whatever. Like, yeah. So you need to like really be a grounded human. Yeah, to exactly. Try forward. It's it's really interesting too because like for me, modeling it's the kind of lifestyle I would have wanted to live regardless. It's just forced me to grow because you have to know yourself. You mm -hmm. have to spend time with yourself because you, you're traveling by yourself all the time. That's one thing they don't tell you. You're alone a lot. You have to like, really learn to be your yeah. own best friend. It gets like super lonely. Oh, like yeah. too lonely. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you're on a different time zone and it's nighttime where right. you are and daytime yeah. where your friends are and you're like, okay, like when I was yeah. in Japan, I was like at my lowest low, but also I was working five days a week and I was in Japan. Like yeah. people look at them now to be like, oh my god, that's so oh, glamorous. Yeah. But in reality, you're like, I'm miserable alone or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It gets easier though when like now that I have like friends like you and yeah. like other models that are always traveling, I always have someone to FaceTime. Totally. So yeah. I have tons of friends all over the world so usually there's someone to facetime now but when you first start you don't know anyone yeah. around yeah. the world you're like well who do i facetime anybody out there like, I guess what? <laughs> you just read a lot yeah. yeah you read so much or netflix <laughs>
happening and use that, but at the same time, it's like kind of explain it. But then also at the same yeah. time, like maybe it's actually giving people like the the time and the yeah. presence. Yeah, that I just wish it didn't take so long. Exactly. Thing to yeah, have yeah. To do yeah. Or yeah. They have to do it. Exactly. exactly. I love the inclusivity. I just wish it happened on its own. Exactly. I think yeah. too. It depends on what kind of modeling you want to do because mm -hmm. there's commercial and then there's high fashion. So commercial is your like your Nike, your Target. There's your, also levels of commercial. There's, there, yeah, there's, there's, there's like high Walmart, commercial. Target, and then Victoria's Secret is technically high commercial. Okay. Yes. I mean Target pays so well. Urban Outfitters so well. Mm -hmm. Commercial is your bread and butter. Yeah. It is money. Commercial is what pays the bills. But <laughs> high fashion is the art. Yeah. And yeah. high fashion is your yeah, Marc Jacobs, fashion, yeah. Chanel, Gucci, Dior. I was working for a client the other day that was considered high fashion, and like just so much different. It like is, you sit yeah. down and like every single detail about every it's single item out. is like thought out. Everything. Yeah. To like the color, to the fabric, it's so cool. Let's say you have like a really successful first season, and you're doing like a bunch of like high end fashion shows, which surprisingly like high end fashion shows like barely Don't pay. Like, well, you get the notoriety, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, you work for pay. Dior, so I mean, you get three hundred dollars. Right. Right, exactly. Yeah. Whereas you go to somewhere else, it might be thousands of dollars. Like yeah. Targeter, yeah. Urban Outfitters. Is it true that like okay, let's say you book like some high fashion shows that bumps your rate for commercial? Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. Do you get paid or you get an investment piece? So like you walk the show that's investing into your career. Did you get any money? No. It's but, still an experience. But it's, it's really an fun. Though. So I've never actually yeah, walked yeah, yeah. fashion week because yeah. I started kind of like during COVID and Next is very particular. Like mm -hmm. they won't let you walk unless it's top tier. February of 2020 before. Before COVID was a thing, I could have done that fashion week, mm -hmm. but instead I did my first. I had booked my first major campaign, Ooh. so I like flew to LA and, <laughs> and I shot for BS Pink before they went on there. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, it was really fun, but yeah. then after that, COVID started, and okay. it's like all these debuts are being done online. So Next hasn't let me even try to walk yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm really hoping things go back to normal soon, yes. so I can like get out there in the high yeah. fashion realm. If you want it, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. If you have the right people to believe in you, your team is everything. Mm -hmm. Your team yeah. has to believe in you. Your team has to push you. But you also have to like put in the work because it yeah. is work. Yeah, like, it's, it's not work. just. Yeah, it's always also perceived that it's easy. Oh. Obviously we have it very good and it's a lot easier. I'm not out there doing labor. Right. But at the same time, so when I'm not shooting, yeah. it's like, I'm going to the gym, I'm I'm eating healthy. Yeah. Or you're doing your schedule until last minute. I feel like that's happening. Yeah. Like, we're like, oh, we're gonna hang out. It's like, okay, well, I'll get my schedule. Like only know yeah. the day before. Literally we get our schedules. Yeah. I get my schedule 6 p.m. PM for the next day. So like, yeah, my so life's like, like totally you're on call, so on yeah, call twenty percent. I know there's like internal politics as well. For example, like I'll go to New York Fashion Week, but I'm not at the point yet where I'm getting invited to like the highest of fashion shows. One day, hopefully, fingers across. So let's say I go to like a mid tier show, and to me, the girls walking down the runway are just as gorgeous as like you know people who are doing high fashion. Yeah. Or like again, <laughs> shout out Natalie. I'll do a video with her. So like, she has a lot of high fashion shows. Yeah. And I think I mean she's like one of my best friends. So I think she's the most stunning human yeah, possible. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, I wonder what the difference is for her walking these high fashion runway shows versus mid tier. Also, kind of sounds like there's a lot that comes down to like the casting director liking you or like yeah, getting along with yeah. or being introduced to the right person or like being the new. Oh, it's all about being introduced like, to the right people. I would not be where I am if I didn't meet Hudson. Like if I had no. time with the first guy, I would not be right. It goes back to yeah. your team. Like you have to have the right people yeah. to put you in the door. Yeah. Like your team will do everything for you and then you have to take care of the rest. Yeah. So being with a certain agency does help. Yeah. Like if you're with an agency that's more known, it's easier to get your fun that yeah. Not to yeah. say you can't get to those top tier show one day. Right. But it's just like a lot more work yeah. and yeah, 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 effort yeah. on your part. Which I'm just all over, you know. No, I love it. I don't like, need to call it. <laughs> focused on your physical body, how do you maintain a healthy mindset? Or kind of like, how do you prioritize like wellness so, in I'm this I'm just world? gonna say it because we're all, we know yeah, that. Yeah. Everyone in the modeling industry has had a mental disorder at some, point, yeah. at some point. At some point. And yeah, I'm one sense. of the most grounded people, you're one of the most grounded people I know. Yeah. Even I've been through the ringer. Mm -hmm. Even this week, yes. I work on myself every day. Every at a certain point, you have to just do the best that you can. For me, I try to eat and fuel myself for how I want to feel rather than how I want to look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I want to have energy. I want to I want to have mental clarity. It's not always easy. Yeah. Like even this week I was like, I need to be at my measurements mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it is your job yeah. to fit into like sample size. It's sizes. like a little mm -hmm. dance of like, you could complain and blame, blame it on this industry, but at the same time, like I signed myself up for this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just tell myself, you choose this life. If I don't want to be here, I don't have to be. Like yeah. I can go do a different yeah. career. But I'm at the point now where I found 
like a pretty good balance. For me personally, I eat really healthy and work out like every other day. It's very various ways to do it. I know a lot of girls do drugs. Like right. I don't really go out much. I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Like I just take very yeah. good care of my body and myself. Mm -hmm. But it's like the Billie Eilish lyric. What is it? If like teardrops could be bottles, there'd be spirits. <laughs> so many bottles full of bottles. Yeah. You guys are like the whatever the one percent that can make it in New York City as models. So like in theory, some of those beautiful people in the world. Yet people because of that industry it like creates. Oh, it's like the most insecure. Another thing that's interesting is I've really detached myself. This is like gonna sound so weird, but yeah. like I don't often like look at myself in the mirror. No, me neither. Like I try to like make that separate. I'm at the point now where I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of cute. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. I don't like sit there and like nitpick at myself because yeah. I get that enough at work, you know? Yeah, so, exactly. And I feel like that helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about dating in New York. We can keep it short and sweet. Dating in New York. You can have someone in the blue. Bro, yeah. oh, you, you guys. Okay, well, first of all, dating in the modeling industry is interesting. Here's a rule. I don't date models. And yeah. I don't want I don't want to generalize because I don't want to yeah, generalize exactly. me. This okay, one has so a boyfriend. I know. Yeah, I know so recently. I this is my first boyfriend ever. I'm 22. Um <laughs> and it's real. It's crazy. <laughs> we met on hinge. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on so many hinge dates and they're all just like, what's going on? It's here? kind of a social experiment at yeah. that point. And then I went with this guy and we just Really clicked. Yes, and but until then, I I always say I'd rather be single than settle. So it's yeah. true. Yes. Any so good I, interesting date stories? I was stories going on like some dates. Through apps then, primarily. Or no, like I've never friends. been on an app. I was on Raya for a sec. I went on like one date and then yeah. I deleted it. I like, hate Raya. I just can't I do that. Know. It kind of gives me anxiety. Yeah. To like friend zone people, I've realized. Yeah. yeah me too. So I haven't gone on like any dates recently. Do you meet people then like out out in the wild? <laughs> out, 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 in the wild. <laughs> out in the streets. I have so many friends who are like, I don't be on dates. I don't want to be on apps. It's like, how do you meet somebody else? I have a feeling the universe will like throw them in when it's time. You don't know what people want out of you. You don't know who. You don't know people's intentions. Yeah. Oh. It's a weird thing where you're like. I don't know what if you like me for me. Oh, I tell them I work at a restaurant. Dude. I was kind of seeing that like a few dates here and there. Yeah. And I remember at one point we walked by this restaurant and like he had planned this. All his friends were sitting there and he said, "Oh, hey guys!" And I realized in that moment I'm just arm candy. So uh, I dropped him. Yeah. I'm more than arm yes. candy. Yes. I'm obsessed with brunch. Yes. So okay, what are your favorite brunch spots? Oh yes. yeah. Find us at Ruby's. Yeah, I love. I'm a horror. <laughs> 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 